Hello and welcome to Blue Sky Graphics. We are honoured to have you with us. Here at Blue Sky Graphics, we are a leading online graphic design school led by industry and expert leading tutors delivering one-to-one -one online classes. We've been teaching for just over 10 years, enhancing creative curiosities and preparing future graphic designers for the real world. Driven by passion and performance, we are purely dedicated to the art of graphic design. Our website and enrolment registration information can be found at bleeskygraphics.co.uk. Hello and welcome to Blue Sky Graphics, the online graphic design school. In this short video, we're going to be showing you how to use mirror effect and a bit about the appearance in graphics in Illustrator software because we are going to be creating decorations with a mirror effect. Now, you will learn how to create cool mirror effects using the opacity masks in Adobe Illustrator. So if you open your vector logo in Illustrator and duplicate the entire logo and flip it below the original logo, select the logo using the selection tool, right click and choose transform, then reflect. In the reflect dialog box, switch on the preview, choose horizontal axes and click on copy. This would create a copy of the logo inverted. Now move this copy to the bottom of the original logo, leave very little or no space in between the two. As a tip, it might be worth holding down shift while moving the logo downwards. This will help you maintain the vertical axes. Once you've done that, lock the original logo so that it remains uneditable and select the logo, go to object, lock and selection. Then here you can draw a, a rectangle over the mirror copy and fill it with a gradient of gray, black, or whichever color that you choose using the gradient panel. We will create an opacity mask out of this shape. Adjust the sliders to get the desired effect. Now select the rectangle and the mirrored image placed behind the rectangle using the selection tool and open the transparency panel. If not visible, go to window, transparency. Click on the double arrows on the top of the panel and from the menu choose make opacity mask. Now, if you're not completely happy with the output and you want the reflection to be even more faded, then you could choose the mirrored image, the opacity mask, and open the transparency panel. Once you've opened the opacity mask and opened the transparency panel, click on the opacity mask thumbnail, which lets you edit the opacity mask. When you click on the opacity mask thumbnail, only the mask becomes editable and all other objects on the artboard are locked. So there's no fear of doing anything you don't want to do to them. To get out of this mode, click on the first thumbnail that shows the original image. We hope you liked this short video and if you've got any other questions at all, please get in touch. Um, we teach Adobe Illustrator as part of the graphic design course along with Adobe Photoshop, Adobe InDesign and Adobe Illustrator. Thank you and bye bye.